guys, this is Taylor, and uh, this is just a quick sniper gameplay. I apologize for getting into it so late. Um, theater mode was being a bit goofy, so I just had to cut that off. But um, I used the sniper for a while, but I also had a lot of fun just picking up random weapons. Uh, the score is 20 and 3 or so. Nothing to get that excited about, but I thought it was entertaining, and so here you go. There are a couple cool no scopes, some nasks. But um, by what you probably deduced from the title is that um, this is a little bit more of a serious video. I really didn't want to do another one. I talked about my breakup with my girlfriend and uh, I got a ton of support. It's a resounding uh, good... You guys are good people. You really are. Um, I'm very happy. My subscribers are, uh, for the most part, really really kind people and they were there for me and sent me a lot of messages of encouragement. And uh, to those guys, I thank you. And to the haters uh, who did that, I... Well, actually, you know what? There really weren't very many. I am very blessed in that. But um, I'm talking now about my parents' divorce. Uh, my parents... Um, are getting a divorce. I, I'm not going to say anything about personal family reasons because um, I know that I've opened up with you guys before, but there are a lot of uh, things that are just not, uh, that are just family, uh, family private. And you know, I respect you guys and I don't, I'm not trying to keep secrets from you or trick you or anything. Um, I just, I'm sure all of you understand because there are things in your family that you don't want other people to know just like everybody else. And so uh, suffice to say that my parents are getting a divorce. Uh, my father's already moved out, which was a very strange change for me. Um, I don't know, it's just a weird thing to do. And you know what, nowadays, it's really sad, because, like, divorce isn't even a big deal anymore. It's like more than half of people who get married divorce, uh, granted, most couples who get divorced don't stay married for, what, uh, I guess my parents were married for 22 years, because I am almost 20, and so that's a long time, and of course most divorces, uh, or come much before that. I think most before seven years or some statistic like that. But uh, it's just weird. It's very strange. Um, and I'm sure most of you are going to be commenting like, oh, my, uh, my parents are divorced too. Uh, it's not a big deal. And you know what? Um, it's You're right. It's not the end of the world. I'm not going to spaz out about it, and I'm not going to make it into a huge ordeal. But uh, I'm sure a lot of you have gone through the same thing. And if you have, uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you did. What did you do to cope? What did you do? Uh, hopefully you guys aren't all going to be like, I turned to... To drugs and hookers and stuff like that. I don't know what you're going to say. But um, hope, I'm hoping to get some good advice from this. And if nothing else, you guys have always been very encouraging. And I really do appreciate that. Um, I <laughs> I legitimately think that I have some of the best subscribers on YouTube. It's absolutely crazy. Um, I get... I go to other people's videos, even my good friends, and they have so much hate on there for no apparent reason. And I'm just very, uh, very thankful. I just want to make sure that's abundantly clear to you guys. So, uh, hey, thanks. But as far as tips... <laughs> uh, I guess uh, tips and tricks, if you will, for, uh, I don't know, dealing with this scenario. What would you guys suggest? Uh, I, It's kind of strange because you you almost feel now that uh, your parents, my parents rather, are getting divorced, that you almost have to kind of pick sides. Like, it's almost like uh, you talk to both of them, uh, your mother and your father, at separate occasions, and you kind of have to, like, pick a side and choose who you want, whose team quote you want to be on, which is, of course, ridiculous. I love both of my parents equally, and I'm, uh, I am close to both of them. I have nothing against either of them, and it's not like I go to bed every night, like, harboring anger, and uh, obviously I'm too old to, like, uh, like, play neat trank, prank, <laughs> tranks, uh, like, that was, I, I was thinking about this, like, that would be kind of funny, though, if, like, me as, like, a 20-year-old, like, if, or probably, like, I don't even know, if my parents ever, like, started dating anyone else, and they, like, came back to the house, and I acted like that little, like, rapscallion, like, annoying little kid who was, like, playing pranks on them, like, stealing their shoes, and, like, but I'm, like, actually, like, a 22-year-old guy, and they're, like, what is the matter with you? Why are you doing this? And I'm, like, you can't date my mom, or you can't date my dad, and I'm just, like, playing pranks on them. I don't know. <laughs> kind of like a like being the Dennis the Menace of sorts. I, I don't know why that came to my head, but I thought it was funny, and it cheered me up, but, um, I don't know. I, it's really, really strange. After, uh, being in, a I had a, a great family life. My family life was fantastic. I was uh, close to both of my parents growing up, and it was just strange to see it all deteriorate. So, uh, I don't want to say abruptly, because it wasn't necessarily abrupt. That was a nice shot. But, um, I don't know, it's just very strange. It almost seems surreal, especially with uh, my girlfriend breaking up with me a couple weeks ago. The stress of finals week just added on to everything. Of course, that's over now, thank goodness. And uh, now this, uh, and it's, it's all, goodness, I just feel like some cameras are going to walk out and tell me that I'm on an MTV reality show or that I am in the new season of the OC because that's what it feels like, kind of. Um, but you know what? Not a huge deal. Everybody, uh, bad stuff happens to everyone. And uh, 
in my opinion, the best thing to do is not dwell on it. And by all means, that does not mean ignoring it and pretending like it doesn't happen and not talking about it, uh, because that's just silly. Because then it's just going to dwell and brew up inside you and get you in a um, a hissy mood and just uh, really, really become a bigger deal than it really is. So, um, yeah, I, it sounds really dumb, but when I want to talk about things, sometimes I do it better just by myself. And of course, obviously, putting a video on my channel is not by myself, but uh. I don't know, it just helps me to vent, helps me to get things out there, and I know that from what I've heard so far, you guys uh, appreciate these kind of talks and just me being myself more than the actual gameplay, which uh, hopefully the gameplay is entertaining too, because uh, I'm having a great time with my Road to Riches series, but um, anyway, I I think the gameplay is coming to a close in a second, but if you guys have any tips, any, uh, any ideas for what would help me, I'd really appreciate that. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have gone through this, and by, I'm not asking for pity or anything. I am just really asking for advice, and so I'd really appreciate that. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys very much. I appreciate you listening if you're still here. If not, then I uh, hope you're enjoying whatever video you're watching now. <laughs> um, oh, also, my uh, episode one of the, um, the Road to Riches is up, so I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to check that out. But other than that, uh, thanks, guys. It's always, uh, it's always nice having about 50,000 people to... Uh, to talk to. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to you guys later.